Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. We're going to do a little bit different today. Normally, this would be the time that we're reading for the weekend, and we will read for the weekend, May 28th, 29th, and 30th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but then we will continue the reading for the rest of Gemini season for your sign. Okay? Okay. Now, I've used all my decks. Now, I have used my, and these are the Radley Valentine decks. I'll pull three from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll pull one, and then I come back and pull three from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will pull one from my Guardian Angel Tarot, tarot cards. Those were all Radley Valentine decks. Now, I will take my, I will pull three from my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. This is a little bit more for clarification. My Osha Zen Tarot cards for any words of advice. I do pull one from my Weight Rider Traditional Tarot. And, of course, I finish with pulling one from my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki Energy. But remember, this is a general. these are general readings. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to my higher power. And, you know, whatever comes through, comes through. Try not to do too much of my own interpretation. Now, a couple of things is, again, thank you so much for your well wishes. I have not, I've really not been on the computer. I know that I, you know, for that little bit, I did put out a video a couple of days ago. But, you know, I haven't been, you know, I've been on my phone and I've been reading um, your comments. I w thank you so much for your well wishes. I'm still recuperating. I would say I'm about 93.5%, okay? So if you hear me sniffling a little bit or if you hear me, <clears throat> I do apologize, but I'm almost there. So thank you again for all your well wishes. I do really want to encourage people to go back and look at the Gemini overview because there is a lot of stuff going on now that this really, you know, that's really, really um, talked about. And as the days are going by, I'm like, I, I'm telling my husband, well, that's because of uh, Saturn. That's because of, you know, all of these retrogrades. That's because of this. So there's a lot of things going on in the world that I can almost, you know, I can kind of go back and say, wow, things are happening. We do have the full moon. We do have these retrogrades. We have Venus and Mercury out of bounds. You know, there's, there is, you know, the Palladians, um, there's um, ascensions and transitions. So much is happening. So please take a look at that. Okay? Okay. And I do refer, because I've done the readings already, I do refer back to that in some of the, my language. So let's get started on our readings. And thank you so much for all your support. I love you all. Bye-bye. Hello, my Aries. How are you? Well, let's see what we have for the weekend and then Gemini season to follow. Okay? So let's see what we've got going on. Lots lots of stuff. I really hope you watched the overview because there's a lot to, to look at there. A lot of energies moving on. Um, also, Mercury and Venus, they're, they're considered out of bounds. So there's even that going on. Things... Things are definitely moving in the hemispheres or in the universe. So let's see what we have. One, two, and three. The first card is reversed. Let's put that up there. Strong energy. So let's see what we have for my Aries. Here we go. First card is two of water. There's an emotional decision you need to make. You need, you know, there's something that's pulling you here, pulling you there. There could be, this could be very deeply relationship. You know, I don't know, this could be, and again, I'm not saying that this is it, but it could be, um, again, remember, relationships, work, job, career, personal, intimate, interpersonal, family, or home. It could be that you're thinking about possibly severing one of that, you know, severing the emotion, the relationship, or it could be that you're thinking of joining a relationship. It could be that you're going to leave one relationship to go to another. It could be you're leaving one job to go to another job. It could be, you know, it could be that intimate relationship too. But I feel like there is some decisions to make about relationships. I would, you know, if you've been in a if you've been in a relationship for a while, I would probably try to wait it out past 
the past Mercury retrograde at least, so that would be what, June 22nd? So I would just try to coast a little bit more so before making any relation any relationship changes, but you need to do what you need to do, okay? You need to be you, my Aries. Now, water energy, like I said, two is decisions. Water is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. A relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. I like that one. Here we go. Next card is the five of water. So here's where that, here's kind of, you know, that change relationship. So fives have, um, you know, have, it has a divine grace. So there is nice. There, so that's lovely that, you know, e that there is a little bit of forgiveness with the fives. But five is also about change. Positive, negative, neutral. But change can be a little bit stressful. Okay, so again, this is what I, I probably this one should have come t come first because this is where I'm feeling that there's this little conflict, there's this little wanting to make some changes in a relationship. You know, one of these things, it's like what marry in haste, repent in leisure. So again, I would just kind of wait and I would try to get through a mi at minimum our, you know, until June 22nd when Mercury goes direct. Now, there's, again, there's some things with Mercury and with Venus. Now, Mercury and Venus are both in Gemini, and they're both considered something like out of bounds, so they're not necessarily reacting the normal way that they would. And so Gemini, um, you know, Gemini is about intellect, is thinking things through, though they're, of course, they have their twins. So one says to go one way, one says to go the other. But when it's out of bounds, it's, there's a little more of a, um, it's, it's just kind of like the thought patterns aren't as clear, okay? So I would try, if you're making, if you can, if you can, you know, if you have to make a decision, then you make a decision. But if you can wait it out a little bit more before making a decision, best advice that I can give you at this moment. But of course, you know, it's not legal, it's not legal advice, and it's not health, health advice either. But things not turning out the way you'd hope. Hoped, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. And your last card is ego. Okay, so we have a 15. So we have the 1 or the 10, new beginnings, transition. 5 has that change energy again. Ego, this is Archangel Jophiel. Now, ego is one of those things, you know, this is about being vulnerable. This is about, will they laugh at me? This is about... I don't want to put myself out there. So there could be, you know, with these relationships or, you know, and again, what there could be, you, you know, you don't want to take that extra step. There could be a little, there's some fear of retaliation. There's some fear of being laughed at. There's some, you know, I want to show myself as being very strong and I don't feel strong right now. So there is, so there's something really big going on with these relationships. Um, again, to my Aries, Try, you know, keep your you know, keep your vibrations on the higher side. The when you let when you let all of the energies lower your vibrations, I kind of feel like it's like uh, like the universe. Or I shouldn't say the universe. The negative energies, the negative people around you. It's like taking a match to dry tinder. Okay, so try to keep your vibrations high. Your thoughts positive, words positive, all that good stuff. Try to keep them high because then if somebody tries to light that fire, tries to get, you know, have you get sparked, you won't go that route. You, you know, I mean, you might feel like, well, I'm, I'm letting, you know, I'm the one that's doing it. No, 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 no. I kind of feel like, you know, again, if you let yourself kind of let those, you know, go down, the vibrations, your vibrations, your hope, your spirit, your, your um, thoughts that good things can happen, if you kind of get into that more pessimistic mode, um, others are, it's easier for others to manipulate you, okay? So just putting that, just letting you know that one too. Here we go. So ego is about a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Now this is probably more with the weekend, you know, but this is going to be what starts off or what, what continues down with your Gemini season. But so this week could be a little bit troublesome with some of those relationships. Um, you know, I kind of feel like you're easily sparked. So again, keep, you know, kind of somebody says something negative, smile and say, you know, okay, you know, I wish you well. Okay, so respond with the positive. Here we go. 
next last card of this one reversed the seven of michael now michael is air energy that is our gemini our libra it is also our aquarius thought processes it's hearing news sevens have that divine umbrella so it's a lot of this is no matter how much we mess up down here there's a divine presence higher power the source you know guardian angels connecting over us and helping us through this now so whatever's going on this is what you have to concentrate there is something better out there waiting for you you aren't you aren't alone on this pathway so this weekend seems like it could be a little emotionally you know just emotionally um off for you a little wonky for you there could be a little bit of vulnerability you need to make sure you need to try i'm going to say try um, or I'm going to ask that you try to stay hopeful, kind of say, okay, not sure why I got that flat tire, but I'm sure there was a good reason and, you know, and something good will come out of this. So try to keep, you know, try to take the negatives and turn them into your positives. Okay. Okay. So there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Now, Let's go on. Sorry, my voice is starting to go. Let's go on and see. Oh, boy. That one flew. Let's go on and see what we have. <coughs> Excuse me. But that one flew really far. I mean, it flew it flew and then bounced. It banked. It banked off of a piece of furniture here. So, let's go and see what we have with my John Holland. Here we go. One, two, and three. Three cards. This one is the one that fell out or flew. Foundation and achievement. So you have a four here. So you have, so whatever this relationship up or down going on, you actually have a very strong foundation with this relationship. You actually are you know, actually, you're more valued than what you're feeling this weekend. You you know, you actually, like I said, this is a good time for you to just try to get through this Mercury retrograde. Okay, so it does feel like these retrogrades may be playing a little bit more on your emotions and on your, your, um, your passions and on your, um, just how you're handling thing because things because you actually have a very strong, a very firm foundation. Now, and I love the rainbow. Anyway, next card. <clears throat> ah, that was reversed. So, things that are happening. This is the new beginning. This is the leap of faith. This is the fool. This is a start of something. This could be, again, now I don't feel like you're, t like this is, I don't feel like things, if, I don't feel like things are falling apart here, okay? If you can keep, if keep those vibrations high. But I do think that this could be one of those openings of a new chapter. Maybe you're going to, maybe because of ego, because of the vulnerability, maybe you're going to communicate better. Maybe you're going to talk about your fears. Maybe you're going to, you know, maybe this relationship is actually going to grow stronger because you open up more so. It could be. But I do love new beginnings. I love this woman. I do love her. Zero is universal or God or um, higher power energy. <clears throat> I love that she she looks totally unprepared for the world, but yet there is such a strength of purpose on her face. So I love that. I love that. And you've got the firm foundation. So there is there is so there's much there's a lot of hope for this. There's you know if this is a problem and you know going on if there's some vulnerability if there's some emotions, you know again I think that this could be a brand new chapter and you might have better communications. You know, you might be able to open up and, you know, again, it does, it makes you vulnerable. But if you're talking to somebody, they're going to be vulnerable. Hopefully they'll be vulnerable back to you. And at least it gives you a path. It gives you an idea where to go from there. Because maybe you're putting, you know, maybe I'm going to go with the, you know, maybe you're putting so much, you know, hope or whatever into this other person. And they're, you know, maybe they're not interested. I don't think that's the case per se. Or, you know, relationship. I don't think that's the case. I just think that this that this 
Mercury, Saturn, all this stuff retrograde, I think it's messing, okay? But it is providing an opportunity for you to open up. It is providing you an opportunity to start, maybe and maybe start over. Maybe with the same person, the same relationship. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Now we have 11, 1, 1. New, you know, new beginnings, new beginnings. Again, I know this is new beginnings, but it's, you know, start, start. One plus one is two, two choices. Having a balance, and maybe that's one of the things that's been going on with this. Maybe things have been out of balance for you, and this gives you an opportunity, you know, going into Gemini season, talking more, because Gemini is all about talking. It's all about clearing the air. Maybe talking more actually helps you to understand more what's going on. And again, this could be any of those relationships. So I do love this. I do like that for you. Now let's go on. Osha Zentero. Here we go. <clears throat> and especially, I love the foundation because it seems like you do have a very strong foundation and you do have a, um, you, you know, you do, oh, okay. You do, you know, you have actually a good, you know, you, you, you have put in a lot of the work. You've put in a lot of the work, but then, too, if this is a, if this is a partner, intimate or not, you know, you, you, you've done a lot together. I don't, you know, so again, I think that this could be a new chapter, a new beginning in possibly the same book. Okay, so now, here we go. This is slowing down. Sometimes you need, you know, again, so this is, these are more your advice cards. So this is kind of like, you know, maybe, maybe you've been rushing so forward. You've been wanting to keep up with the Joneses. You've been wanting to make sure everything that you need to, you need to take a step back. You need to kind of, you know, maybe find, find the beginning of how that, I know I'm going more into relationships and I don't go into relationships, but maybe you have to go backwards. Maybe you have to go back to that beginning. Maybe that's what the new beginning is about. Maybe you have to go back to recapture because sometimes in this world, we just tend to go so fast and we go so for you know, go forward. Now, we have an eight, eight unlimited opportunities a lot of, you know, letting go, you know, that's very, very self-explanatory. Sometimes we cannot, we're not the ones in control. Again, that goes back to ego. Ego likes to be in control. Ego, you know, and this makes you vulnerable to not be in control. So sometimes you need to, you need to show who you are. Maybe you need to open your heart a little bit more so. Now this one, we don't know what this is. Here we go. Ah, so this is reversed. This is six. Six is the number of man. So this is what you have created, okay? And this is the burden. This is maybe you have created so many things. You know, sometimes, you know, what is it? Um, I like George Carlin. I don't know if you ever follow him or not. He's not alive. But George Carlin will talk about, you buy, you know, you, you get stuff. And then you get stuff and you need to put your stuff somewhere. So you buy a house and then you put your house, you get your house and you put stuff in it. Then you get more stuff. So you have to go and buy a bigger house because you have more stuff. And then you fill that house with more stuff and then you have to buy a bigger thing. And actually at the end of it all, it becomes a burden to you because you're just, you know, you're just being burdened down by all your stuff. Okay. Don't know why you needed to know about George Carlin. You can look him up on the, you know, on an internet browser. Anyway, very, very wise, uh, very wise, I don't know, would you say he was a comedian? He was um, an analyst on life. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go on. One, two, and three. Okay, three cards. This one is reversed. The four of Gabriel. Now, I love this one because four, again, he has that stability. Gabriel is your energy. It is also Leo and Sagittarius. It is passionate, burning, determined. This is about things resolving. resolving. So whatever you started out with, whatever the emotional angst of the weekend, it all resolves. Things actually start to work out better for you. This is about celebration. This is about rewards for your hard work. So... The Four of Gabriel, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself again from burdensome situations. Your next card here, the Nine of Ariel. So all of this, you know, as, as Gemini season gets into swing and actually you start doing some, um, some cleansing, some soul cleansing, some, 
you know, you start talking more, you becoming more vulnerable or, or letting people in a little bit more so. I'm not saying you have to, you know, like, oh, I'm an open book. I'm not saying that. But you have to let them in a little more so. Now we get the nine of Ariel. Nines have a wrap-up energy. Ariel is our earth energy. That is our Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. This is kind of, in this deck, the nine of Ariel is kind of like the wish card in the physical. Okay? So, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work, again, nothing about this. Nothing about this is easy for you. But no, hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. And your last card here, the six of Michael. Now, six, again, I told you, is man's number. It's what you can make out of it. Michael is, again, air energy. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation, or travel. So really, all you really need to do is you need to just get through Mercury retrograde, Saturn retrograde. You just need to kind of, and you also, but you also need to open up a little bit more. You also need to um, be maybe be a little bit more vulnerable. Okay, okay. Let's go on. We're just going to pull one. Here we go. Oh, my nose is starting. To, I'm sorry. Here we go. Balance. This is the two of pentacles. Pentacles is your earth energy. Twos are, are um, you know, is your decisions. And there is some money balance here, but I kind of feel like the balance is also in your home, your office. I think it's just having a balance within all of the things. Maybe what you've been doing is maybe you've been going after, um, you know, going after the, um, the prize at work and you've not been necessarily, you know, working on your, or, and it's, it, you're not, you haven't been paying the attention that you're maybe your home or your intimate relationships need, or maybe it's been the one and not the other. But this is, this has a balance to it. This is a balance is created. Now, let's go on. We're going to pull one card from here. I like these, my guardian angels. They generally, okay, right there wants to come out. I like what they say. Anyway, reversed again. Two of thoughts. Two of thought. Your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing, and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as what directions to take, or just listen to your inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. So that's very profound. Very profound. Anyway, let's go on here. And we're going to see what crystal or energy would be helpful for my Aries. Here we go. Here we are. Sapphire. Do you have sapphires? Anyway, channeled wisdom, psychic ability, self-expression. I think that's what you know, I think you need to talk a little bit more. Also, destiny. I like that for destiny too. So, my Aries, can you be a little vulnerable? Can you let people see your heart? It's not easy. I understand that. I definitely understand that. So, my Aries, I hope you enjoy and you'll press the button, like, share, subscribe. More importantly, though, my Aries, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.